Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. We're going to be doing a pipe review on a cheap one. A lot of you probably are not going to be into this one very much, but for those of you who just want to start to get into pipe smoking, you just want to try out tobacco, see what it's like and all that, or maybe you just don't have much money, you don't want to spend much money on a pipe, or you just happen to want this in your collection, or for whatever reason, this is a good cheap pipe, I think. It's very, very good for what it is. Is it a good pipe? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's good for what it is, though. It, it kind of is a good pipe. It's it's smokable. It, it was the first tobacco pipe I ever got, actually. It's hard to find information on it, but you can find it anywhere. They're just called like it's called like durable black smoking tobacco pipe and stuff like that. It's called a Chang Feng. That's what it says on the box anyway. It's a really dented up box. Chang Feng, the knight enjoys Chang Feng durable tobacco pipe. All this information here that's just about generic stuff. Item number 30102B. I guess that's what the the name of the Chang Feng 30102. I already forgot it. Um, but yes, it's hard to find information on what it is. I don't know what this material is. It's certainly not briar, but I like the texture. There is texture here. It's really slight. It's not like a rustic texture, but I like how it's like glittery. You see that? It's like sparkly. It's cool looking, I think. And there is a texture to it, but it's smooth at the same time. And then like most cheap, yes, I still have to clean that out. Most cheap pipes, they use like this metal, I believe it's a metal insert they put in there because this material right here is not designed to take in tobacco, like wood or like, you know, briar wood is, unfortunately. But that's just what they use. And there's a big downside to that, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. I have a plastic stem right here. It's a nice feeling stem, feels nice quality. One thing I don't like is this one, it's a little bit wobbly. Uh, it's a really big deal. The ring is not, but this thing is. You pull it out, it has, I forget what these things are called, but even high quality tobacco pipes use stuff like this. So a lot of cheap ones do. There's an O-ring in there as well. Cheap pipes use O-rings. It's just one of the many things that the cheap pipes have. But I will say, it is the one of the best cheap pipes I've ever had. Okay, it's it's a it's a good one because it smokes pretty well. It doesn't have any problems drawing in. Some are really hard to draw in a lot of cheap pipes, or they or they really wobble, or you can take the stem off really easily. There's always like a billion different problems you can name with the cheap pipes. Um, this one has a very limited amount of that. And then of course you might get some sometimes. It's like a it's a crapshoot. Some might. This one is a little bit wobbly of a stem, but the one I had previously had like no wobble in the stem, as my memory goes. So it's, it just depends. Uh, it, you could get these for like six or seven dollars shipped on eBay. You'll find it called Durable Black Tobacco Pipe or something like that. It probably won't say Chang Fang or anything like that. Um, but just like, it is really nice looking though. I can really appreciate the looks. It's really nice. Um, it's heavy too. It's a hefty pipe because it's not wood. It's, who knows. Um, what does it weigh? Let's do a little guessing game here. I'm gonna guess... 2.1 ounces. No. Yeah. 2.1 ounces. Now let's put it here. You can't see that, but I can see it. I'm not going to lie to you. My little digital scale. 2.31 ounces. I was close. I was really close. 2.31 ounces. So, yeah, most pipes, you know, like this, a Dr. Robo Freehand or something, or a K. Woody Saxon, just, you know, 20 30 $40 pipes out there that are briar are like 1.3 ounces or something. So, about an ounce heavier than the average pipe out there, I'm going to say. So it's a heavy, hefty pipe. It makes it feel like it's durable and high quality, though. That's what I thought when I first got it. When I first got it back in the day, when I was first getting into pipe tobacco, I really liked it. A lot of people out there say you shouldn't get cheap pipes when you're starting out because they're like, oh, it's going to go bad and everything's going to go wrong and you're not going to like pipe smoking. Yeah, I kind of agree with that, but I started out with a cheap pipe and I, I, I got into the hobby. I found out, wow, I really like the taste of pipe tobacco. So... I, for one, say if you want, if you're just starting to get into pipe smoking and you you want to get a cheap one, get a cheap one. I think it's a good idea because if it's only eight bucks, ten dollars at the most, you it's usually if you just use it to taste the flavor. If you don't like the flavor of tobacco, you don't like smoke in your mouth and all that stuff, then why spend even twenty or thirty dollars on a pipe? I mean, there there are affordable pipes out there, like twenty bucks, or twenty two, twenty five, but they're hard to find sometimes, and there's a lot of stupid, annoying problems out there. So. Something like this, there, there's pipes everywhere. There's so much assortment and style. Some of them are really cool looking, actually. I just, I don't get them because they're cheap pipes. I have more expensive pipes to get right now, so. But I kind of appreciate the design, though. It is cool looking. It's a Chinese pipe. Um, but yeah, it smokes fine. It has kind of a tougher draw on it. Kind of a tough draw on it because it uses these drilled holes in there. Some you'll see have like a screw in the middle, too. It might be a, I don't think it's going to be difficult to clean because it's metal. You could probably 
you know, swab that up. Really easy. You can swab it up really easily. I can, I'm telling you from experience. Um, but the one bad thing about this metal like pot, this metal chamber in here, is that it's really hot. So if you're doing the whole trick where you put your fingers over it because you want to draw in or you want to create more suction, get that ember going in. I did that accidentally. I was like, oh, wow, instantly jerked back. It's really, really hot on the rim right there. The bowl itself does not smoke, does not get very hot though because it's so thick and durable. It's such a thick, heavy <laughs> thing. It, it does not get so hot to the touch. My briar pipes a lot of the time do get too hot to the touch, unfortunately, but that's an upside I'll give this cheap pipe. Kudos to, to the, the cheap pipe right there for not getting too hot. So it's an enjoyable smoke this pipe gives you. For seven bucks, you can't really complain. Please don't send me hate messages and stuff saying, no, you can't buy cheap pipes or whatever. I, I prefer the Briar Pipes, but I'm just saying I got this one uh, just again for a couple of different reasons. I'll go into that later, but um, or I won't go into it at all. But yeah, just saying. It's a nice pipe. Unfortunately, the chamber only goes down to like here-ish, halfway down. Another thing about these cheap pipes, they have like a, a metal chamber insert they put in there. So, yeah. But all I can say is it's cheap. You get what you pay for, um, but it does give you a nice, enjoyable smoke, I believe. There's mixed reviews. If you look on Amazon or eBay or something, people are going to say something, eh, it didn't last at all, this one sucks. But then other people are like, wow, it, it works really well for a cheap pipe. So it just depends. The biggest downside, I think, is the metal pot thing that hurts your fingers when you touch it. However, an upside is it smokes very coolly if you're not touching that spot up there. And for the money, it, it's not horrible. It really isn't too horrible, but it's a cheap pipe. It is what it is, so just throwing that out there for people who are starting. It's one of the most recommended pipes I'll give you if you're looking for a cheap pipe. I've seen a lot of cheap pipes and had quite a few. This is one of them that I actually recommend if you want to get a cheap pipe. So there it is. That's, that's all I can say about that.